Time to take a check of your afternoon update here on WSKI TV 17. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, on all your internet devices. And this is brought to you by 45 North. Check them out tonight for some apres or some great dinner, or maybe in the morning to fuel you up for a nice powder day out there. They've got a great breakfast buffet. We'll see snow for tomorrow. Starting overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, should see 4 to 8 inches of accumulation, hopefully more up here on the mountain. 9 to 13 will do it for your summer temperatures with a gusty breeze up top as that system moves through through and 19 to 23 down here at the base when we should feel a noticeable breeze down around the base as well. That system will head out of here tomorrow afternoon, clear things out with partly sunny skies for the day on Thursday, and that's when temperatures will get pretty cool out there. Well below zero at the summit with a gusty wind, so want to be aware of that. Uh, base temperatures 3 to 7 degrees with a west-southwest wind 20 to 35 miles an hour down around the base. So be prepared for some colder temperatures heading into the weekend. Flurries for the day on Friday will see a high of 11 degrees with minus 3 for your low up top near the summit. Partly sunny skies for the day on Saturday with a high of 10 degrees, and it warms up just a bit for Sunday with a high of 18 degrees and a low right around 0 up towards the top of the mountain. The skiing and riding is great and only going to get better here with some fresh snow, although uh, the winds will be a bit gusty, so just want to be aware of that for tomorrow morning. Uh, 111 trails of skiing and ride on 9 lifts getting into those runs. 57 trails on the groomers list for tonight. Machine groom, pack powder, look for some nice powder and powder packed powder conditions for the day tomorrow. It'll be variable out there as things get bumped up and skied up, but it will be nice and soft, so get out there and enjoy it. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway, those three lifts get you around the base area at 8.30. If you just learned to ski or ride, that's where you're going to want to head. If you're getting more confident, want to get a little bit higher on the hill, check out Double Runner East. It'll get you to some runs down Boardwalk, Lower Winter's Way, as well as Lower uh, Narrow Gauge. Skyline and Super Quad get going. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut. That allows you to branch out from the east side to the west side, pretty much all across the mountain, as well as the Super Quad, just a little bit lower than Skyline, but that allows you to get to a variety of mid-mountain terrain. Over on the east side, King Pine, they'll be doing some cool grooming over there, so check that out to flatten stuff out, let the snow settle up on those before they get bumped up back again. So, uh, Whiffle Tree, also, that's a great fast Super Quad uh, for some great intermediate terrain. Timberline, that's scheduled to go at 9 o'clock, but we're going to have to wait for those winds, see what those do first thing in the morning, so be sure to tune in at 7.30 for the updated report. And grooming, Candy Side, Lower Winter's Way, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches, and Snowbird around the base area central mountain trails timberline bridal chain buckskin tote road they're going to do double bitter they're going to do white nitro they're going to do wedge so there's going to be a bunch of great trails out there to pick from first thing tomorrow morning they're going to flatten that stuff out and they'll have some fresh snow on it so get out there and rip it up choker flume they don't usually do those especially choker they'll do uh, buckboard as well over on the east side of the mountain all of boom auger so those will be in great shape be sure to hit those up if you're an expert skier fat bike tire uh Bikes are available at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center, but with the new snow, probably want to stay on the snowshoes or the cross-country skis. They'll be clearing off the rink as the day goes on as well, so that should be open back up. Fat bike trail conditions, snow's on the way, so think about helping the packing efforts by going snowshoeing on some of the single track over there off the narrow gauge pathway and clearing off the bridges. That is a huge help, and the riding should be good by this weekend. Arnold Trail Snowmobile Club wants to let you know that the trails are in great shape, and this weekend is reciprocal weekend, so if you've got friends from New Hampshire or Vermont that have registered snowmobiles, they can come over here and and ride for free. Our quad cam, it's at the base of the uh, super quad, and that allows you to see exactly what's happening in real time. And we've got live video there as well, just updated today. So be sure to check that out and bookmark it. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's where we hang out on social media. And you'll always find us at our website, WSKITV.com, with lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy. Each one of those a reason to stay another day.